My brother-in-law found this. He said, one of the funnier critiques I've seen. Seriously, those guys have no on-screen chemistry together. It looks like they took some douche from NYC, a guy who's never gotten more than a sloppy BJ, and a guy who refused to leave the hipster cake-eating contest and put them in a TV show together. I like that. That's creative. Now you're that took thought. Yeah, that, that was... I also like that my family members will send stuff like that to me. Our first guest in the very first episode is the co-host of History Channel's Artisanal Automotive Program, as well as also a Speed TV NASCAR micro-celebrity as well as an amateur beard enthusiast. Please welcome Rutledge Wood. Hey, hey, thank you. Thank you, Ray. Uh, it's so nice to be here. Good to be here as well. I didn't know how to enter, so I just went over the chair. Can I say, uh, not only am I super pumped to be the first guest on the Jalopnik show, but to be here at the Classic Car Club in Manhattan, this, this would either A, make me want to move to New York, or B, get a membership and just use a lot of sky miles to come up and drive cars. Um, you're dressed appropriately for New York. I mean, you're very looking very hipster-esque right now. Why do you, I'm not, I don't know why you and, and some of the people that follow Jalopnik, do you call them Jalopnikers, Jalops, Jalopies? I think they self-identify themselves as Jalops. Okay, I don't want to sound like a jerk, but you guys don't know what a hipster is. Um, number one, you've obviously never seen Joel, the rides for Jalopnik. I don't wear cardigans. Um, I don't wear skinny jeans. Hipsters tend to match. I don't I actually. Uh, Dude, I was going to say, it sounds like you got a list. Well, I actually wrote a list down this morning because I was thinking about this. Um, the difference between hipsters and myself. Also, I'm going to go to Dave's Quality Meats, which is a sneaker store. Um, it's really good. Hi, ladies. How you doing? Jalopnik show. First one. Um, yeah, the ultra tight everything. Don't. This, I washed this shirt twice. Um, <laughs> skinny jeans, card. Fixed gear bicycles. If you ride a fixed gear, you're a hipster because you're not thinking about your knees later in life, which is ridiculous. I'm all for, paint your bicycle up. I love it. But don't, don't be a horse's ass and ride a fixed gear. That's not, there's nothing trendy about that. Well, plus you can't brake. No, it's a terrible idea. Come on, make it a freewheel, put one brake on there. You can still be edgy with just one brake. Um, also, hipsters know the lyrics to uh, the band Phoenix and all their songs, whereas I know all the lyrics to the group The Wiggles, <laughs> because I have two kids. That'll help. Uh, and also, they have crazy, unkempt beards, and I, I trim mine. That's just basically my list. So I'm not saying you can't, you can keep calling me a fat hipster, but it means you both don't know what fat is or what a hipster is. And also, if we went to middle school and you're calling me fat, I still think you suck. B by the way, I think mm -hmm. the, the first rule in any type of uh, show is you should definitely come on and completely insult the audience. Yes. I think that's the right way to well, do it. Well, that was probably only six. Six. I mean, There's you have a... There's dozens of viewers out there who are probably going to be watching this. Well, I meant those six that still oh, think I I'm a hipster. Yeah. All right. Let's talk about Top Gear USA. I'm yes, please. Bit. So you're entering your third season. We're entering our... It seems like third. It's really the second half Cause of the second like season. Forever. I know. It's like <laughs> season 2.5 is a good way to look at it. The, the History Channel... When we started, what happened was we, we had planned to make 10 episodes and they saw how good they looked before any of them aired, so they ordered six more. So what we did was we saved two from that first set of 10, shot six more, so it was eight and eight, uh, which I know is a little bit confusing because the show just disappeared. I'm sorry, I just completely wasn't listening I know, at all. I'm I know, I know. Yes, it's about to start, season two and a half. <laughs> We're moving to Tuesday nights at nine o'clock, which is cool. Sunday nights was, was good, and we have like the youngest audience that history's ever had which is great, but uh, I think a lot of people DVR because it's on Sunday night and there's football and all sorts of other stuff. So we start on February 14th, Valentine's Day, yeah. 9 p.m. And that's going to be a great date. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. I'm totally going to be Bottle Boone's Farm and some Top Gear. What was your first car? First car was a 1981 Rabbit, VW Rabbit diesel pickup, four speed, no options. It had the sealed uh, vent windows, radio delete, my grandpa bought it. They bought a, a rabbit pickup and a four-door rabbit at the same time. And I went out to New Mexico when I was seven or eight. And I said, hey, whose truck is that? And he said, it's going to be yours one day. And it had this awkward half shell uh -huh. thing that I don't know if anyone's ever seen them. Imagine like you make a camper shell and then like halfway through you stop and decide to make it look like a trunk. 
with a luggage rack on it, it was a terrible, oh, it looks so bad. And then it, of course, has no options. Like right. they, they had the LX and there was even the sport truck. It, it sucked, bless its little heart, but I loved it. Uh, ended up, I think the head gasket went. It would smoke like a barbecue. And I just kept trying to drive it thinking, I didn't know a lot about cars at the time. I kept thinking like, if I just get some better diesel, like cycle yeah, through that'll there, totally it'll be fine. Yeah, it didn't, no. so rest in peace. I want another one though. I found a couple cool ones. Some people have done like a G60 Corrado swap, or I've seen a VR6 one, but I don't think that would drive all that well. I think that's too heavy, but. Well, so what are you driving now? <clears throat> What's in your garage? Well, I have a fairly eclectic uh, group. If you ask Tanner or Adam, they would say I have six crappy cars instead of just one nice one. Uh, my big project I've been building for the past year, this sounds terrible when you say it out loud, is a 1983 Honda Civic Wagon. It is uh, way cool. It's got a 96 Integra swap in there, LS, non VTEC. So we convert it to fuel injection. Uh, it flies. It's a fun little car. I have a 1966 Volkswagen double cab pickup, which were pretty rare. The single cab trucks are rare, and I've seen less double cabs. So it looks like you cut half of a VW bus off the back. Uh, it's fun. 1776 in the back. It flies. Uh, I bought the K5 Blazer from Top Gear that we drove on through Death Valley. Are you going to speed this up where it looks like I'm saying this for hours? You yes, are, aren't you? I am. Okay. Uh, so I have that K5. It's still sitting in LA. I traded, uh, my best friend is Kyle Petty. I traded a 53 Plymouth that I got from his dad to him for his 69 Charger. <clears throat> Excuse me. And his uncle is building that, the, fixing the motor for me. Uncle Mo Reese. Mo Reese Petty. <laughs> Um, I'm for, oh, I have a 96 Roadmaster, Roadmaster wagon right. that I was thinking about selling. I really wanted to trade it for an old truck, but I have convinced my wife to let me keep it. She thinks it's creepy. And I can't imagine why she would think it's creepy. Beats me. But it's, it's awesome. Great, I mean, it's a why would car. anyone think that's a creepy car? LT1 power. Really? It needs a Z06 swap. It needs a six speed and, and a big ass LS under the hood. I know that. But that, that stuff doesn't grow on trees. You no, gotta wait for somebody to wreck a car. <laughs> and then my, uh, my daily driver, I think I told you right now, I'm driving this F-250 my friend Jeff Kelderman loaned me, but I also have a Suburban because I'm a family man and I need to pull my car trailer. So I had to have something big. I wanted a Raptor, but I just, I weaned out at the last minute. Really? Yeah. Even with the bigger engine? I mean, it's a... It's, I was waiting for the crew cab to come out. Then yeah. when, when I saw Tanner abuse the hell out of it on Top Gear, I was like, okay, okay, I definitely want one. There's some awesomeness. They're, they're incredible, but... I also thought I was going to pull an Airstream. Uh, I bought a 73 Airstream that was in this guy's backyard for 20 years, untouched, for $600. It's a bad idea, Spinelli, exactly. Uh, I drug it home. It was a terrible mess. We realized how much mold and everything else was in there. Well, at the time, I thought I could fix it. I believe, just like a car, I can save it. It's like, see, the problem with an Airstream, though, is it's not like just fixing a car. It's like no. fixing a car and a home yes. uh, and a uh, a convertible and a, all combined. Yes, everything. there's like three thousand rivets holding just the inside on, and I had to take the inside skin off in theory to clean it out. So I bought the suburban, thinking I would be pulling the airstream, and I thought I would look like a jackass pulling an airstream with this gigantic Raptor. So that's why I leaned the other way. But I sometimes wish I hadn't. Yes, I do like that suburban. I actually think that would look fairly normal. It would mostly because no one else would be doing it. That's true. That's true. I'll have another Airstream. I sold it. My town got mad at me because apparently you can't have one in your backyard. I didn't know that. My, Vicky at History, who is, does all the PR, has thought literally since we started Top Gear, I one day made a joke like, oh yeah, I got all kinds of cars up on blocks in my yard. And every time she reaches out to people, she tells them that I have cars in my yard up on blocks. Like I'm that kind of redneck. It, it sort of sounds like it actually, except I don't. Well, I don't. Is but, the is good it, news. but is it? But is the reason really just that the city ordinances won't allow yes. you to do it? Yes. Yes. The city and my wife. I probably would. <laughs> I probably would. I'd have like a. See, you are exactly that kind of. Right I now. am. I'd have like a Nash Metropolitan <laughs> hidden somewhere, an old right-hand drive Mini. I like. I like too many cars. That's my problem. I just can't stop. That's why I have six crappy cars instead of one nice one. So let's get to our first segment of our very first episode of the very first Jalopnik TV show. Uh, it's an it, it is a it is a game that we're going to call Toggle Switch. We're gonna Great. Give, we're going to give you two options. Okay. And you're going to have to pick one. 
okay. then at the end, we're going to score you and see how many of them you Ooh, got right. So this could be a trick. Yes. It always like you is could a trick. say Angelina Jolie or um, Jennifer Aniston. Aniston, and clearly it's Jennifer Aniston, but you might be thinking that it's, it's the other one. No, the correct response there would be Angelina Jolie. Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to say you're wrong. We're going to have to cross that one okay. off. Okay, sorry. Gonna... Let's All get... right, so l- let's start. NASCAR or Formula One? NASCAR, 100%. It's, you, you know the difference is champagne versus the champagne of beers. Yeah, well, that's clearly the difference. I'll take the high life. <laughs> it's Miller High Life all the way for oh, this. Oh, totally, man. totally. All right, New York Thin Crust or Chicago Deep Dish? Oh, New York Thin Crust. I've tried Chicago Deep Dish, and it's fun. It's like, um, gosh, there's a terrible analogy running through my head, and that would not be nice to share. Oh, come on, it's on YouTube. It's not like... Um, there aren't mm-hmm. countless of dozens mm-hmm. I can't of do it, but I'll tell you watching. later. I'll tell you later. All right. Um, yeah, New York Thin Crust, so much better. Is Ray's Pizza truly the best pizza? No, it's actually the worst pizza in New York. The movie Elf told me Ray's Pizza is the best, but there's like 15 of them. The original one is on something. It's a Will Ferrell movie. Seriously, you're going to decide what New York is about based upon a Will Ferrell movie? I love smiling. Smiling's my favorite. Right, smiling. Yeah, smiling. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I like to smile. Yeah, hey. You have to sing it out loud. I'm smiling. I'm, smiling now. I'm at a car club and I'm smiling. And I'm smiling as I give you the next question. Okay, which sorry. Is Facebook or Twitter? Gosh. Twitter. Twitter. I think Facebook will die just like MySpace did at some point. And I hope, I hope that Zuckerberg guy pulls a ripcord and makes a lot more money before that happens. Great movie. <laughs> it was, Not obviously, it was obviously true to life. Yeah, completely true. true Great movie. Yeah. How about that one guy played the twins? Yeah, that was pretty awesome. That got me. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Neither. Chick Fil A sweet tea. I don't like coffee. It goes through me like a lightning bolt. <laughs> I mean, if I have coffee, we could time it, and then I'm going to need a toilet, and it's going to be violent. I'm sorry, that's probably too much information. It was a little bit more than we were hoping for, for but we'll take it. We'll mm, take it as an answer. Sorry. Brian Williams or Anderson Cooper? <sighs> Brian Williams. Brian Williams. I would shout that from the mountaintops. Love Anderson Cooper. He's fantastic. But Rock Center, what Brian Williams does is great. I heard someone say that Brian Williams should host the, he should be the next host of The Tonight Show, and I agree. He is. He's one of the funniest people in TV. And he loves cars. Do you know he likes NASCAR? I, he's a huge He's a huge NASCAR fan. He's a huge Jalopnik fan, actually. No, he's yeah, not. He reads Jalopnik. Brian Williams might see this? Yeah, he absolutely Oh, will. gosh. You should, How you do I put look? Put a better JCPenney t-shirt this time. Cut out that part about what coffee does to my body, then. Yes, I will definitely not okay, do good. that. Okay, <laughs> um, good. Yeah, Brian Williams is, is an absolute huge car guy. When and I heard you say Brian, NASCAR. I thought you were going to say Brian Adams, which also, whoever you say after, you're going to have to choose Brian Adams. Absolutely. Because everything... Matter. I do. He, he's going to do it for you, or everything he'd do. He does it for you. You know the song. I think we Summer all do. Summer 69. <laughs> oh, he's a hit machine. Uh, Xbox or PS3? PS3. Okay. I just never like that red ring of death you get on the Xbox. I just feel bad for people. I think they stopped that. I think they fixed it. I don't know. All right. I mean, we could call somebody. I mean, are you still are you still one of those people who blows in the cartridges, the Nintendo cartridges? You know, I have. I still have yeah. an original Nintendo. That might that might lean towards the hipster category a little bit. But I also have the original Super Nintendo because I love Mario Kart. Someone gave me a video game thing called an Odyssey, which was made by Magnavox. That they were gonna like throw it away. I've never seen it before, and I have one cord that's wrong, so it won't turn on. Steve Carell or Ricky Gervais? Hmm, that's a tough one. Uh, for everything but the Golden Globes, Steve Carell, Ricky Gervais, Golden Globes. The fact that he can make fun of those people so brilliantly. And get invited back. And get invited back. That's, that's like slapping your girlfriend's mom at dinner, and then she says, hey, why don't you come over for breakfast? Like that, <laughs> crap doesn't, that crap doesn't happen, especially in that circle of people that are so crazily vain, which is what he made fun of most of, but I love both those guys. Which do you think is a better uh, Michael on The Office? Mm. I, to me, what's funny is that they seem so different, those shows. Probably a lot like Top Gear, yeah, US to ask. and UK. Is, that, like, is, it, is it similar mm-hmm. to that? I mm. see what you're doing mm. here. 
Um, so, like, I really like watching, and I, I did not, I knew of The Office, but didn't watch it before it came here. And so when I heard it was coming here, then I watched one, and I thought it was really funny. But it's also, like, I like British humor. Not everybody does. Uh, my dad won't watch The Office because he feels too much like that's what it was like the past 15 years. He was at work. <laughs> It just freaks me. He's like, really? That, that guy was my boss. Beverly Hills 90210 or Saved by the Bell? Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. Carrie Over mentioned when Tiffany Amber Thiessen went to Beverly Hills 90210, though. Here's, an, here's a 90210 trivia question that's for cars. Um, there was a black Corvette that Ian Ziering drove. Steve Sanders was his name on the show. Yeah. Had a California vanity license plate. What was it? Oh, geez, I don't remember. Anyone? I'm sorry, I'm not as up on my You should know trivia. this. Technically, this is your wheelhouse because it did have to do with cars. Just barely the wheelhouse. I mean, because you'd have to get through how many episodes in order to be able to actually see a that? A lot. Yeah. I mean, that's It was that's California Vanity Plate. What was it? Um, I ate a 4RE. I ate a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> was it an actual plate or was it a... I'm um, sure it was fake. Oh, you, know, you know how shows are. <sighs> Always faking everything. They really are. They are. Those rascals. Last question. Top Gear Australia or the car show? What kind of question is that? <laughs> Top Gear Australia. Top Gear Australia. It will be back one day. It will rise from the ashes. Shout out to the car show. Rest in peace. <laughs> All right, let's score the 10 questions. Oh, no. All right. Uh, First question, uh, the correct answer is actually Formula One. Oh. The second question, uh, you are correct. It is New York Thin Crust. Thank you. Uh, the third question, you are absolutely wrong. It is Facebook. I mean, come on. How many Twitter movies have there been? Really? Fair point. All right. Okay. Just if saying. that's the basis, Ray. I mean, it is. Well, I mean, you even mentioned it. I mean, it's the movie is how where it's totally. at. Totally. Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Um, you are absolutely correct. The answer is none of the above. Chick-fil-A sweet tea. So that's fine. That, I'll that's take fair. it. That takes it. Uh, the correct answer was Brian Williams. Yes. Um, Xbox was actually the correct Get answer. Get out of town. There's only one that has Forza Motorsport uh, Jalopnik car pack on it. Oh, it's so, such a weighted yeah. question. Seven, uh, the correct answer was Ricky Gervais. You kind of got it half right. I, did, I mean, I did give him love. I think he's wonderful. Um, oh, and it actually turns out we missed a question. Oh, no. Yeah, so the, actual, the mixed, missed question was boxers or briefs? Uh, boxer briefs is what I wear. Okay, it's that's actually, combo. that is the correct answer. Good, too. good, good. Oh, that man, right. that's such a um, trick question. And then, uh, uh, the correct response was actually saved by the bell. Thank you. Um, at, oh, thank or you. Or we would have, we would have also accepted uh, seeing none of the above. Or California Dreams. Did Not you ever chance. see that Not one? Not a chance. Matt Hardigree saw that one. Well, Matt Hardigree is a very interesting young he man. He is. He loves it. Speaking of hipsters. Yeah. Much more of a hipster than you are. Still not a real hipster, but, you know, hipster He's ass. halfway in between um, Joel and I on the hipster scale. I could see that. I'm way down here, and Joel is in seven layers of cardigans. Hipster. <laughs> um, and the correct response was, uh, was Top Gear Australia. Good. So you, uh, that I would nailed be, uh, it. you got one... Two, three, four, seven, five. You got five correct out of ten. Congratulations. You are top of our completely non-existent leaderboard. Pass fail, I think I pass. Yes. If it is if it were a pass fail test, Rutledge Wood would have absolutely passed. Just barely passed. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. I had a pleasure. great time. Thank you. Anytime Thank you, you want me to come back here to this place, I will come. Thanks, and, and he, notice how he didn't say come back to the show, just come back to this place. That's yeah, totally I didn't fair. say I'd do the show again, but I will hang out here gladly. Thank you, everyone. Uh, remember to follow us on Twitter at, at Jalopnik, as well as also at the at Drive TV Twitter account. Thanks, and good night. He didn't even mention Facebook. You're full of shit. <laughs> and at Jalopnik on Facebook at facebook.com slash Jalopnik. <laughs> and it's not even pointed at me, and I'm a. No, that's why. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do we do? Do we need to do any pickups?